our last video, you saw us go riding with our grandsons, my daughter and son-in-law, Jennifer and Scott. So today, my husband's changing the oil in our four-wheeler and cleaning it up quite a bit. Also today, I'm wiped out today, so probably overdid it on the four-wheeler. I'm sure I overdid it on the four-wheeler. My back is really hurting today. And my fibromyalgia is not the greatest right now. So I've just kind of decided to leave my jammy pants on and take it easy for the day. So this is what our day is consisting of. Him working and me doing pretty much nothing by choice. Our daughter is coming over later to borrow our car. Her, she bought a new Jeep and there's a little problem with it so it's going back into the dealer. And she needs a car to use for the day. For tomorrow, she's gonna come get our car. She's a nurse going to school to get her RN degree. She's an LPN. So she has school tomorrow and work. So God bless her. She's a she's a busy child. So anyway, other than that, I'll talk with you later. Hi, well it's the next day now. We took the night off. We didn't really do much. My husband finished working on his four-wheeler and I laid down for the day or the evening. You heard me talk about my back pain. Well, I have a thoracic fusion. If I, you don't know what that is, your thoracic, you have your cervical and your lumbar, which is your lower back. Your cervical is your neck. Your thoracic is in between that. So in between your cervical and neck, your cervical and your lumbar there's about an area from about oh right right about here down I have a fusion right behind my bra strap in my spine which is rare 10% of the people in the United States have herniated discs in that area I have a rod oh it's probably that long right behind my bra strap and screws and there's a cage in there holding that area. I had my surgery done by Dr. Okonkwa at UPMC in Pittsburgh. He was fantastic, fantastic. What led up to this surgery was probably 20 years of pain and 20 years of doctors saying, I don't know what's wrong with you. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, which I'll make another video about that because that's not a fun thing to have. Um, I have arthritis in my spine. I have arthritis in my neck. I have arthritis in my fingers. Um, I was diagnosed with arthritis in my 20s along with the fibromyalgia from another doctor. So leading up to my surgery, I went from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. And those of you deal, that deal with chronic pain understand what that's like. I have a stack of x-rays and MRIs and records, it's probably that thick, of doctors saying, well, it's your shoulder. So I had shoulder surgery, still have the pain. It's your neck. I had neck surgery, which I do have a neck fusion. And I've had two neck fusions, so I'll make that another video. That when I did have my first neck fusion, that helped some of the pain, but not all of the pain. Something else was going on. So I went back to the doctor eventually that did my neck surgery, and he found thoracic herniation. I also have a mass in one of my my bones, my, my cervical bones in there. I have a mass. So they did a, this doctor, he said, I'll do a biopsy of that bone, but... I won't do surgery in that area. It's too dangerous of a surgery. He also said, don't ever have the surgery. You'll regret it. It'll be awful. Don't do it. So not taking his advice, I seeked out another doctor, found Dr. Okonkwa on the internet. I made my first appointment with him. And at the time I was a bus driver. I drove a school bus for 20 years. So that alone doesn't help back pain. Bouncing in the seat, 
that doesn't help all the bumps also opening the side door you don't think about that when a bus driver opens the door you open the door and where do you bend when you when you lean in to open the door you bend at your thoracic area so I've been agitating that area all along well I found out I do I have scoliosis so my spine was leaning in forward this way my shoulders are hunched forward so I have scoliosis but along with that I have herniation and my disc is just going a little my spine is just kind of doing a little sideways this so I have the forward lean and then I have the sideways lean because of herniation down here so Dr. Alconca we went back and forth do you you know I don't know if the surgery will help it's a rare surgery I've never had to fix just that area you know I've heard of doing it but I could try the surgery I can't guarantee it it might work it might not work what do you want to do uh, at this point I was in so much pain from this I said it can't hurt let's do it let's do it so he told me all the risks you know all the risks you could be paralyzed you know the whole spiel you could die you could never walk again or it could work it could help something so leading up to the surgery I was excited to have the surgery and I'm on disability I from working I worked up until my disability was approved and with all my back pain with all my records my disability was approved first time through so I was probably a year into my disability I had my thoracic surgery so they scheduled the date everything's great your surgery is on April 18th well that's my birthday happy birthday to me happy birthday so what a, what a birthday present that is going in for surgery so in the morning I get there I you know the nurses see that it's my birthday so they made me this cute little birthday hat before my surgery you know and told the doctors it's her, it's her birthday so they're all wishing me happy birthday on the way into surgery so I go into surgery surgery lasts five six hours I'm not really sure I, I was sleeping through the whole thing but I think it was quite it, it was quite a long surgery I go into the recovery room was in there for hours a, a long time because they didn't have a bed for me UPMC was full so finally they found a bed for me which was not on the orthopedic wing which for I really wish it was it was in this other little area of beds with nurses that didn't really know how to deal with orthopedic surgeries so I went through that I that that was a hard time because these nurses don't know what to do they don't know the therapy they don't know how to deal with somebody that's had this surgery so anyway that that's a whole nother story so the first time I stood up after my surgery I was amazed I could stand straight I could stand tall I could stand straight up it was amazing it was amazing and that pain I was feeling was gone now I have surgery pain so the pain the original pain is gone happy I am so happy the surgery pain I'll deal with so I stayed in there I think three days I was in the hospital that's it no braces no nothing the doctor said you just do what you think you can do you'll know your limits when you can bend bend when you can when you can tie your shoes tie your shoes when when you feel it you know your body your body will tell you what you can do I'm gonna leave a picture so you could see the first picture is my an x-ray of my rod it's a side view and what you're seeing is the screws going into my spine so you'll see uh, some people that see it say it looks like you landed flat on a pitchfork so that is the rod and the placement of that is right where your bra strap hits in the back so some days I can wear a bra some days I can't wear a bra because that 
the, the bra strap is laying right right in that scar area. The second picture is just a picture of my back after surgery. You'll see the scar, how long the scar is, and there's a little tube coming out, a little drainage tube coming out. That That's the area, so you'll have reference of to where the knee surgery was and where my pain is. So I went home from, I went home, my parents picked me up. My parents have been awesome. My husband's been awesome through all of this. So my mom and dad picked me up and took me to their house because my husband worked 10 hours a day. So I stayed recovery at my mom and dad's another two weeks. My husband would come see me every night and we'd have dinner and I would do what I can do with him. After two weeks, well, uh, no, after the after the first week, visiting nurses came in and checked me and took my staples out and everything was okay. I had at-home physical therapy for six weeks. I started at my parents' house, then we moved it, when I went home, we moved it to my house. So, it's now been two and a half years since I've had my thoracic fusion. I still have pain, but it's a different pain. I can stand up straight, I can put my shoulders back. It's a different pain. It's a more manageable pain, if that makes sense. It's not the back breaking, I feel like I'm gonna die kind of pain. It's a different pain. So, I have limits, like you saw me go out on the four-wheeler. I was out, oh, probably 45 minutes. And I told my husband, okay, I have to stop. I'm really starting to hurt now. So we did, we stopped. So just by doing that activity that led to yesterday, me not being able to do anything, me having to lay down in bed, um, I went from my bed to my couch, so, you know, I, I have to do what I have to do. So I'm still doctoring for that pain. I have my, I have pain management monthly. Um, some days are much better than others. The day I went riding on the four wheeler was a good day. I, I was able to do that. I have pain meds and I can schedule also things I do around my pain meds. So I know if I, if I treat myself now, in an hour, I'll be okay to do something else. So it works. So if anybody has any questions about thoracic pain, thoracic back, spine, herniation, anything, because this is a, this is a rare area because you get pain, unbelievable pain shooting around your ribs where you feel like you have a broken rib. That, that is awful, that is awful pain. And along with that, you have terrible, terrible, terrible muscle spasms. So, if anybody has a question, comment anything about this surgery, about this pain, about just anything, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it for you. But other than that, I'm off to the doctor today for my monthly pain management. And um, I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to, and let's get to know each other. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.